What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Connor Speed 6 and today as you can see we're in Forza Horizon 5 driving the amazing Sierra Alpha Crosscart uh, that was just brought to the game in the Forza Horizon 5 Hot Wheels expansion. This go-kart, I guess you could say, is absolutely amazing to drive. It's one of the most fun vehicles to drive in the game for me now. And what I wanted to do today is actually take it to do something that it was built to do from the beginning, and that is run the little hill climb up the volcano on the east side of the volcano, running the Vulcan Sprint in this car. We're going to try it in first person because first person is probably one of the most insane views to drive this car in, especially in traffic, and you will see why as soon as we jump into this event. Now, the tune I'm running on this car is my very own. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be sharing it or not, but be sure to search my gamer tag Connor Speed 6 uh, to see if I do have it shared and let me know any feedback uh, you have down below if you do download it. Good or bad, I don't really mind. It's not the easiest thing to drive. It's a bit crazy, but it's ridiculously fun. All right, so let's not waste any more time. Let's go head over to the Vulcan Sprint and get this crazy event going. As you can see, my Sierra Alpha is S2 998 Pi with an all-wheel drive swap and basically just every other upgrade I could throw at this thing just to get it to be as good as possible. Uh, unfortunately, I feel like it's a little bit better if it's kept in rear-wheel drive, but in all-wheel drive, this thing is an acceleration monster. It's, it's really kind of ridiculous how fast it bangs through these gears. I do have an eight-speed transmission in the vehicle itself, uh, so there's a lot of shifting at times. All right, so let's jump into this race and uh, try not to get absolutely destroyed by these AI because these other Sierra carts are a little bit crazy going up this mountain. Let's get it. All right, here we go. The Vulcan Sprint. Go ahead and block the cars behind me here. Well, that didn't quite work out. I wanted to be early on the brakes so I could get the better acceleration out of the corner, but that didn't work. Now here's where things get a little bit tight for whatever reason for whatever reason oh for whatever reason the other the off-road sierra carts they actually pull wheelies and you might actually see one here in a minute if if we get a good view of one but they seem to lose grip anytime there is a little bit of a crest on the road itself and they always sort of cycle to the outside of the corner because of that very thing. Oh, a little bit of oversteer there. This is one of the most immersive driving vehicles in this game if you were in first person. Oh, nice little move there. Downshift, tap the brakes, unfortunately I didn't need to. It's really difficult to, to drive this thing in first person like this and do well, but hey, we're not doing so bad. Like I said, it's one of the most fun cars to drive in the game. Not really a car, but it is kind of a car. It's, oh, did you see that? It was pulling a wheelie right there. That was cool. I don't know why they do that. I think it's just because they're off-road and they're S2 class. And there's just immense amount of power in those things. And they probably have racing slicks with super mushy suspension. Trying to find my way around here. I'm going to be patient though. Oh, slid to the uh, outside, a little bit of understeer. There we go. I'll just bully my way through a little bit. Now here we come up to the S's around this corner here. One of the best little flow sections on this entire map. I love it. Oh, get on the get on the road. Oh. Oh, the car wants to rotate. I about lost it. I, oh, I lost it right there. What happened? Oh, I let him catch up to me. What is going on? These cars, they're so fast. The AI are absolutely mental. Pulling wheelies, rear into me, sliding into the walls. However, we have finished it in two minutes and 30 seconds in the Sierra Alpha. This thing is so much fun. Like I said, guys, this is one of my new favorite cars to just drive around in this game. I'm not doing anything in it. I'm not really racing. I'm not taking it online because honestly, it's just not good enough to be online. However, it is brilliant to just drive around in free roam and just hawk around these, these corners up on the uh, volcano. It's a ton of fun. 
and I suggest you guys do the same thing. Do you have your Sierra Alpha built to S2 class as well? If so, uh, leave me some information down below on how you guys built yours. I'm all for uh, finding out how other people are doing theirs as well. Mine does struggle a little bit with some lift-off oversteer, especially if we're uh, going over a crest or, you know, it's, it's, it's the, the road gives out or something like that. So it's a little bit difficult to control at times. However, it's so much fun. One of the most fun vehicles in the game to drive, so I'm really, really happy we got this thing. It's an absolute monster. But I really appreciate you guys watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, a positive comment, and if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for more weekly content like this. That's going to do it for me today, guys. As always, I have been Connor Speed 6. Until next time, much love, everyone. See you soon.